basically, this is a very, very dull topic, uh, which many people tell me, che, 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 don't talk about real, don't talk about all these things early in the morning. I still remember many years ago when I first started this business, I was at Leisure Mall, Cheras, and early morning I went there and set up my, my, my counter. And one uh, elderly lady, uncle stand behind me. You are Mr. Chong? I said, yes. Hey, Tai Gai is here, so Tai Dong Ning. He said, very bad to see me in the morning. I said, what's wrong? Anything wrong with me? He said, early morning, don't talk about all this real thing. I said, why? You know, my good friend, I don't know what happened to him. He went to a legal firm and write a will. Two weeks later, Mati already. It's no good. <laughs> then I said, don't get too emotional. Sit down, let me explain to you. So I explained to him the legal thing. Then finally he said, oh, if that is the case, I also should need to write a will. I said, yes, he become my customer. <laughs> OK, every morning, star paper everywhere you open, it always tell you something bad, that the mother nature seems to tell us something. Everything seems to be happening, disaster, plane crash, everything accident. And in Malaysia, this famous image 2014, which I think still today not settle, huh? the 3 MH370. And uh, four months later, followed by another episode called MH17. And as what the Taiwanese tell me, Mr. Chong, you urge you, son. Fair enough, at the end of the year, there was another crash. In fact, this episode, this sad episode, actually aroused a lot of interest in real writing. Because uh, many people start to realize life is not that uncertain, you know. So life is very uncertain. It can happen any time. And the theory of older people go first, no more apply, you know. Last time people always say, Mr. Chong, you are older. You better write your will. You don't talk to me. I'm still young. Uh, but now, different. Now, in fact, we have another group of people always call, Mr. Chong, can you please write me a will? Because tomorrow I'm flying to London, you know. And the uh, scary part, it can come any time, all right? So, in 2007, I don't know if some of you noticed that, in the Amana Raya, it said that there were 40 billion of assets frozen. Okay, report by Amana Raya. Okay, and of which I would like to highlight here is the 17 billion of EPF. If you have EPF account, please, 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 please write a will. Because if one of the nominees in your EPF nomination fail, that become a partial or failure nomination and that portion will go to Amanaria. So you need to write a will to say that if the nomination fails, you go to my estate. That's where your will. All right? And uh, in 10 years down the line, there's two years back, uh, the 62 billion. 62 billion can do a lot of things, and uh, we don't know where the money goes. The government is holding. All right? And uh, do you want your asset to form part of the 62 billion? Please be alert. All right. Okay, why this happen? It's because under the law, all asset of a person will be frozen under the law. Whether your house, your pusa share, your exchange, your money in the bank, whatever, under your name, will be frozen under your personal name. Remember, will be frozen. And misconception is here. Many customers tell me, Mr. Chong, I do not need to write a will because my name, uh, my bank account is joint name, you know, my asset is joint name, so if I die, automatically you will go to my, the other partner. Is it true? No, true. Not true. Not true. Okay? Uh, simply why it's not true because of the classification of asset. Uh, many people didn't know that we are, in Malaysia, our asset is called tenancy in common classification. What do we mean by tenancy in common? Meaning to say that A and B joint own an asset. When A die or B die, A can distribute his asset to whoever he wants to or follow the will. Or B die, it will distribute according to the distribution act or his will. It will never go to the other party. Whereas overseas, it's under joint tenancy for joint own asset. Meaning to say if A die, Mati Mati must give to beyond, cannot be away one. Even though their relationship is different, boy, girl, or whatever, A has to give to B, B has to give to A. No, cannot give any other people. 
That's why will is not very common overseas because most of the assets are joined in, so we give to the other party. But in Malaysia, it's under tenancy in common. That is why it will father and husband and wife join own. It will not go to the husband 100%. All right. Generally, we need a will to go through via probate to unlock those assets. Okay, but there are exceptions. For example, if your asset is less than two million, then you can go to small estate claim. Okay, uh, if your asset is more than two million, normally you have to go to the high court and to apply this document called grant or probate. Basically, what is a will? A will actually is a declaration made by the testator. Today, you learn the word testator. Testator is a person who make a will, who write a will. is called a testator. On, in a form prescribed by the law on the matter which he or she wished to take effect upon his death. Okay? Uh, whatever he's written must have to be written in a form. Cannot be just a uh, video, you know, that will be another classification of uh, will as meant for the soldiers or army in the war. But for general public, it has to be written in the will, in the, in the written form. And it can be written in any language, Chinese, English, Mandarin or whatever, but make sure that the testator understand the content of the will. All right, that is very important. So that will take effect upon death. So ninety percent of Malaysians do not have a will. This is what we notice. Uh, are you one of them? Anybody has will here? Wow, quite good, very good. Give them a hand. Those who do not have a will, please remember what I'm going to share with you. 90% of Malaysians do not have view because of ignorant or procrastinate, especially the Chinese. They will say, uh, wait for a while, I'm still young, you know. Some superstitious, the Chinese, just I just mentioned that Mr. Wong at the leisure mall, you know, uh, better don't write, write a day two, two weeks later will die. Okay, some say it's still young, only meant for the people, and some say it's only rich people only need to write a will. Even a young couple also have to write a will. You know why? Because even you don't have much asset, but you have a very valuable property or asset, which is your child, your minor child. You need to write a will to appoint who is a guardian or trustee for your child. You see, even if you don't have any uh, house, you still have to say, appoint so and so to be my my guardian should something happen to me for my guardians for my minor children so all this can be written in the will and uh, a lot of people many people look at the TBP say only meant for the rich people and I have no asset only liability it's not how much or how rich you are it's how much you care for your family that is the most important message that we want to pass through how much you love your family because we see a lot of family uh, for me in this line for 17 years I have met so many people and so those stories, uh, actually I'm compiling a book, uh, writing all those very sad stories to share with the public, you know, why we need to write a will. Alright, this is a sample of a rock wheels wheel with this part code. Okay, in a will, when you write a will, there is a person called the executor. You need to appoint a somebody called executor. And this is the person that will apply a document called grant or probate and uh, collect the asset pay your hutang hutang and finally distribute the asset and in the will there is a second person called the trustee this is apply this is applicable if you have children less than 18 years old and if something happened the minor children cannot hold property so this way the trustee appointed by you will hold the asset or there is a testamentary trust in the will meaning to say you know nowadays many customers write wills they do not write a simple will they say Mr. Chong my son can never receive the bungalow until unless he is 50 years old. In fact, in fact last two weeks I written a will. Uh, I written a will in the Tropicana, you know. The Tan Sri told me, Mr. Chong, I got so many property, especially this three property, which is going to give to my three sons, they will never, never acquire my property until they are 50 years old. I say, why so old? No, I don't want them to sell because they will sell my property if they are in financial problem. By 50, maybe they pass on already, they might give to their children. <laughs> because they got more than enough, okay? Uh, so that is testamentary trust, okay? Uh, which is actually a very important element in real writing. 
which is always neglected in most of the will, because most of the will written in town or, or uh, uh, whoever, is just to distribute asset. When I say distribute asset, that's it, full stop. You know? But there are a lot of legal problems that uh, cannot be addressed via a simple will. Guardian is somebody that you appoint in the will, say that uh, in case a husband and wife both went up to the MH370, who is going to take care of the baby? Okay, somebody has to take care. And finally, the beneficiary can be uh, anyone less than 18. They won't need a trustee, uh, or if there's a testamentary trust, like just now I mentioned, the 50 years old, or if it's above 18, there's no trust, all right? So this is the chart that everybody must understand. The most important chart for today's talk is when a person passes away, all his assets will be frozen. As I just mentioned just now, whether it's sole name or joint name, it will be frozen under the law. And if you have a will, you die, that's it. Okay? And you have to apply a document called grant of probate. Who is going to apply grant of probate? This is an example of a rock wheels will. Okay? I just mentioned just now that uh, grant of probate has to be applied by a person called the executor, the first person, the yellow box. So this person will have to go to a court, but he can't go to a court unless he's a lawyer. So you need to engage a lawyer or a, a lawyer, put in a petition at a high court if the asset is more than two million, and uh, to apply this document. How you get it applied is basically uh, this original will, together with all the death, together with the death certificate, death certificate from the court, from the police station, and together with all the original copy of the asset, uh, photocopy of the asset of the disease, for example, the bank's account, all the stuff, and uh, give to a lawyer. The lawyer will put a petition at the high court, and nowadays it's very fast because lawyers do online already. Not like many years ago, it takes about three, four, five months. Now I think about two months or one and a half months, there will be a hearing, and this executor need to go to the court, he has a sumpa. I am Mr. Chong, appointed as the executor by this person and the court will verify his identity. At the same time, the document called Grant of Probate will be ready. Grant of Probate basically is a document issued by the High Court to certify that, to confirm that this testator is dead. Before I forget, I'm, I see some Muslim customer uh, audience. Uh, what we are talking about is almost the same procedure for the, non -Mus uh, for the Muslim, but for the Muslim, uh, mostly you will follow the faraid. Huh? Uh, but the process to, uh, because Muslim can write a will and uh, distribute 30% of his asset. 30% only, not 100%. We non Muslim, we can get 100%. So Muslim do the 30% also going through the same process. Lah. Huh? Okay. So uh, once the court uh, look at all those original copy of the asset that the executor bring to the court, then they will have this uh, ready and the charge will chop. This is a red mark, you know, and, and the second page will be the list of the asset that the deceased has left behind. All right? So the executor will take this piece of document, will be able to go to the, to the respective bank and close the account, and the bank will close the account and issue a check and uh, give it to the executor. So the executor will have to take all the money in the bank out and take out all the asset and pay all the hutang hutang. What are the hutang hutang must pay? Is like income tax. You know, this fellow died this year uh, in uh, yesterday, for example. This year tax not clear, so has to do tax clearance, and uh, all the mortgage has to be settled. Once all this is done, then will be distributed according to the will. Okay. This process could take a couple of months. It very much depends on the executor. So like for example, if I receive the, the grant of probate today, I can quickly go to the bank and take out the money. But I can also sit down and wait for next year to do it. All right? So you need to appoint an executor that is very efficient, that you can trust. So he will quickly settle all your debts and pay and distribute according to your will. Okay? So with the will, you are actually able to distribute your asset according to your wishes. You want to give to who? You want to give to your second wife? Give nothing to your first wife who is ugly? You just say that I'm a rare and sound mind, not leaving anything to my ugly wife. You won't get anything. Huh? 
uh, don't give one ringgit in the will. You know, there are, I see some will they written, like recently, two years ago, there's one auntie, uh, she has been cancer, and the husband swiftly found China doll. You know? So she was so angry, but the houses actually come from the husband, the husband who paid the installment and everything, and, um, and she wrote a will, and in the will I saw, it said, I give Saturatus Ringgit to my husband. Okay? That was advice. I told her, no, this is not the way, because uh, you should rather put in a statement say that, I am aware and sound mind not leaving anything under this will for my husband. Because when you say Satu Ratus Ringgit, uh, the husband can file a petition and say, why Satu Ratus Ringgit? In fact, the house is all contributed by me, the installment is all contributed by me. So you give a lobang for the lawyer to sue. Uh. So why not we close the lobang? Okay? I'm aware and sound mind. And then this auntie, what happened here? She give only give. The, the, the son is seven years old. So he give everything to the sister and the brother. Hopefully that the brother and sister will take care of the son. Okay, so in the way that I am aware and some I'm not leaving anything to my husband and my son. The husband put a petition to the court straight away to contest, say that this will is not written sound mind. If you don't want to give it to me, never mind, but at least give it to the son. Correct or not? So we went to the court, actually there was a court case. And uh, at the end of the day, we still win because the court still respect the wishes of the disease. Because if the wishes of the disease is not uh, whatever uh, respected, there's no point writing a will. And luckily, we use Rock Will's will rather than the first will. Because if you say Satu Ratu Ringgit, there will be another fight behind the continuation. So remember, don't put Satu Ringgit, ah, Satu Ratu Ringgit, ah, all these things. Better say, I am aware and sound mind, don't give anything to you. All right? Any question? Uh -huh. So this is the second part. That's the most important one when there's no will. I think 60% of the audience here don't have will. And this is going to happen. You need to apply a document called LA, not you, your family member, because you are gone deep down there already. So family member have to apply a document called letter of administration. Who is going to apply? Your family member have to select a person. Okay? It can be anyone. It can be an uncle outside, it can be a friend or whatever. But that person who want to apply this document called letter of administration to administer the disease asset, he or she must have get consent from the disease legal beneficiary. Who is the legal beneficiary under the law? If a husband passed away, the wife, the children, the mother-in-law or father-in-law. So all these people must consent, give up their rights because they have the equal right to act. So they have to sign and say, I renounce my right, give to this uncle. Or I renounce my right, give it to my, my daughter-in-law. Question here is, if you have minor children less than 21, minor children less than 21 cannot, cannot sign document, correct? They are not adults. You have problem. Then you have to forget about all these things and go to the court to get a lawyer to apply representative for this boy, this boy, this girl. And then in turn, this adult will sign on behalf of the children. And then only that executive, that uh, person who want to act, which we call it administrator. Huh? Executor is when there is a will, no will we call administrator, get 100% consent from all the legal pension. Okay? Once you get 100% consent from all the legal pension, the second step that this administrator need to do is to find guarantor or surety. If I, Mr. Chong, pass away with 2 million worth of asset or 3 million worth of asset, this administrator had to find two guarantors who has this amount of asset as guarantor. That is going to be very tough. I think most of you are all here, multi-millionaire or whatever. Just imagine how your family is going to find guarantor. Not easy, all right? Because uh, if you cannot find, then nothing can proceed. In fact, there was a case uh, quite near here uh, in SS2 many years ago. I still remember this guy called me middle of night and said, Mr. Chong, my father passed away in 1992 and this year is 2000. We can't even get the grant, uh, can't get the LA because we managed to find one guarantor. Can you please help me? 
I say, by virtue, the law requires two. You have only one. I say, by looking at your situation, your father passed away in 1992. Do you see it's 2000? You know, 1992, I think most of you will know, it's a blue run in Malaysia. Everything was good. He said, yes, yes, yes. You know, the most sad thing I, I, I want to tell you is, my father, before he passed away, he told me, Mr. Chong, eh, son, 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 don't need, please quickly call the remainder and sell the share. We got more than a million worth of share. But we can't sell the share because father passed away. And this year is 2000. You know what's the value of the share now? It's only 200,000. You know, because the value had dropped. Malaysia were at low at 2000. But now, cost time value already. Lah, huh? That's why I say, if that is a situation, why not I suggest you to see, go back to your lawyer who concerned, ask him to make an appeal to the court. After eight years already, and the asset has so strong, why not appeal? And finally, he managed to get the LA with one surety. All right? So, uh, on top of that, once the guarantor is found, 100% consent from everybody, then the court will issue LA, which is actually a simple document like this. Okay, and authorize the administrator that you can take out all the assets, and from there, same like the executor have to do, pay all the hutang hutang, and finally distribution according to the distribution act. Okay, distribution act. What is the distribution act? This is the distribution act. Twenty-five percent go to your spouse, fifty percent go to your issue, twenty-five percent go to your parents. Okay, this is tricky a little bit. I have one, one, one customer, not my customer, middle of night call me up. Mr. Chong, I am very, very, very angry. I cannot tahan. I said, what happened? You know, four years ago, my husband passed away and uh, we went through hell and go through all the process and finally, all things are settled. And I just realized that my tree house in Puchung all has my mother-in-law's name, you know, because the two house is joined him, so 50% of the 25% go to the mother. So what happened here is, uh, I already have three sons, plus me, plus her, five names in the house. So this afternoon, this evening, I went there for dinner and I went to see my mother-in-law. I said, mother-in-law, by virtue of the distribution act, you get a quarter share. Can I use money to buy from you? Because now it looks like we have five names in every house, which is not good. And I, in you as 80 years old, I don't know what will happen after that. You know what the mother in law replied? Sorry, I, I wouldn't sell my share, which is about 11%. This is what Ngoying Takke, this is what I am uh, entitled from my son who passed away. Okay, my entitlement, I'm not going to sell it. Then what are you going to do, mother in law? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, Take, you go home. I will get a lawyer to write my will and this portion I want to give to my another four son. <laughs> I have five sons. So one mati already, I still got four. So it's my legacy, I want to distribute to the four son. Oh, this man will say, oh my God, what are you trying to do? If you die already, another four, four joker come in. <laughs> then what will happen to my, my property? So, that's why I cannot sleep. Mr. Chong, can you please help me any, any loophole in the court or I can pay to get rid of her, force her to sell. I said money already muscle is pocket. You want to give to anybody, what can you do? You pay a high price for ignorance of this distribution act. So that's why all the audience, please remember, actually you will pay a high price because this real thing or death or this our issue not happen to every house. You know, because not like my family, for almost 50 years, nobody passed away. Only three years ago, my father passed away. You know, for 50 years, we never talk about this word. But if we talk about doctor, every family got real sick. Lah. Correct? Lah. So everybody has some knowledge. But this type of issue, not many people has. That's why it's very important that we need to create awareness so that more people know about these consequences. So similarly, what happened if the mother-in-law passed away? Most likely, will go to the brother-in-law. So that's where the complication will come in, right now. That's why, uh, as far as property is concerned, now your property all million dollar. You think your 
brother don't want. Ah. <laughs> or your sister don't want. Everybody also grab, ah, correct? Ah. Money is evil, you know. So this is a distribution act. For some of you who are not married, single, or you don't have any children, this is a distribution act. Most time we are here. But if you are single, no parents, no children, then it's go to your brother. But what happens if your brother and sister say, I can't find guarantor and not going to do anything to it, what will happen? You end up with the government, Amana Raya. Alright? So, as I say, do you want your asset to form part of 62 billion? That's the real. Alright? So this is for Sabahan, in case there is Sabahan here. Alright? Also, if you don't do anything, we'll still go to the government. Okay, this is a classic example so that you can see clearly a house joined in by Peter and Jane. What happened? Peter passed away, and the 50% will go to the parents, and Jane will give 55% and the children. Correct? Right? The mother in law is not very friendly yeah, for your information. <laughs> so be careful. And Jane has the 50%. Okay, this one you can see clearly, clearly you know, huh? and uh, what is, who is the stakeholder? The mother-in-law, not so friendly as I mentioned, father-in-law better, and uh, Jane is a major shareholder. Can Jane sell the house if she wants? She cannot, she, because she get all must consent, you know. That's why I have customers who are very smart, uh, give the house to the son, get the son sell or give it to the China doll. So put 10% uh, to my daughter. Forever, the daughter must agree. Then only can sell, you know, tie it up because it's not like a company majority runs up. All right. So what happens if this uh, mother-in-law and father-in-law refuse to write a will and pass away? Their share will go to their children, right? So you can imagine yourself a situation like this. Okay. So what will happen to Jane? Very tough. And what happened if both went up to MH370? What will happen to their children then? Their parents will all come in. Okay? What will happen to your kids? And what happened if this parent go away? Who will be the stakeholder of the house? Correct or not? This is I'm not bullshit or not. It's real life. Can happen. Some even more messier. I have one customer got nine son. Nine son. Just imagine. Okay? So basically, uh, since we are in the property.com, we are talking about property. Some of you come here for property. So uh, as far as view is concerned, for your property per se, you actually need to write a will to benefit person you wish to benefit. For example, you want to give your half share to your wife rather than to your son or give it to the son because once you will it to your son or whatever, your son got 100% of the house, may kick away your wife, but your wife has no place to stay. Correct not? Just like I have one case in the Damansara Jaya, the, the father stay with a niece who is retarded. Okay? He has one son in Australia. So he wrote the will and say, my house give to my son, okay, and he stay in uh, Tamansara Jaya with the niece. So when he passed on, the son took the GP, everything, got the house. What happened? The son said, "I am in Australia. I don't come back to to care anymore. I sell my house." So where is the nephew, the niece going to? The niece end up no place to go, you know. And it was highlighted, and uh, we went over. We can't do anything because the house is so. Technically, what the will should be written is, we will wait to the son, but hold on trust until the demise of the niece. Only then, pass to the son. Correct? Right? That should be the way. It's not advice. It's just dispute. That's why I'm going to share with you afterward why simple will sometimes can create a lot of hoizen, a lot of issue later. Okay, your property is not segmented. If you don't write a will, you got segmented just like Mary or like this, this Peter and Jane. 
and you prevent because you don't buy a house people will not buy a house if your house got five six name you know what i was in lesson i still remember the upstairs sit have come down and tell me mr chong good uh, you're doing real writing good tell people you know what i got stuck i bought the shop lot in Puchong. thought it's cheap one over million look at it got eight brothers oh. but eight brother okay lah, doesn't matter lah. so i say okay lah, buy lah. get the loan approve everything approve one of the brother passed away so the house got stuck and the the the, 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 the person the brother is old, old old man uh, elderly got stuck how no will so my house was got stuck for so many years you know that's why not many, too too many people and you can benefit uh, under the law you can benefit your partner some of you might have china door second wife all these are not covered under the law so you can specifically say my house give it to my china door so at least she got some place to stay Okay. Don't laugh. This is very common. I think some of Uncle all got on. Uh. <laughs> I see your faces, uh, I know you got uh. I experience to see some of you. I can't not show me the side. Uh. Uh. <laughs> now also got China man also got. Uh. But normally not so much China man, Bangla man. Uh. <laughs> You know, I have one also in the PJ there. Uncle was writing a will. Uh, this house gave to my wife. The wife was sitting there. The son was sitting there. I was at the table. The wife uh, gave some to my son. Uh, my wife. Okay, good. This one. Oh, uh, the one gave to Ah Kiong. The one gave to who? 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 Finish already. Then Mr. the uncle said, "Mr. Chong, I got one more house so. I said, "One more house. <laughs> give to who? No, that house is his." Uh, stay my 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 my, my second wife so called uh. oh your second wife so with the the wife there don't give to her cannot give to her uh. oh. I say like that how then he said I think I want to give to my son because the the second wife got the son uh. so with the, the the son the elder son that son don't know whether it's yours or not you also want to give <laughs> because the China door is about twenty something. Uncle is 70, the girl is two years old, the boy is two years old. Then the mother, the wife said, never mind, never mind, give to the son, never mind. At least uh, not give to the, the woman, you know. Uh, at least uh, uh, when he come back, uh, he won't beat me, he happy, happy, come back. Every time come home from, uh, never mind, give to the small boy. The son keeps saying, that son don't know whether it's yours or not, you also you know, check the DNA or not, you give it to the son. So in the will, we plan such a way that the house will be hold on trust by Rockwell trustee until the China doll leave Malaysia or die, then pass to the son. Oh, a lot of interesting story. Yeah. <laughs> be a real writer, join me. <laughs> okay, the other advantage because when you go through a will, there's no stamp duty. Especially nowadays, your property are all worth million of dollars. Stamp duty is very high. If you transfer, even though you transfer to your son straight away, you pay stamp duty half of it or whatever according to the budget. But if you do through a will, the stamp duty per title is only ten dollars. Supplement ring it, cheap cheap. You know, transfer from a dead person to a live person, ten dollars only. So cheap, okay? And there's no inheritance tax. But I heard that uh, government want to bring back. I don't know. So far, no, no guarantor is required. You can choose your whoever prefer people to manage your asset. And you also cost less and the faster transfer. Sorry. Okay? And uh, if you have property, you might have need to set up a testament trust, just like this uncle one, huh? give it to the small boy, but hold on trust until the, the mother no more around. Or like there's another uncle one, hold until the niece pass away. Correct or not? Uh, or there are also other benefits, like for example, you want to prevent it to sell, to be sold, just like the Tan Sui one. The three bungalow can only give it to you when you are 50 years old. Okay, earlier tabole, you got too many property, and also can uh, make sure that you see some of you want to take care of your spouse or your children or particular person. You can write a will and say hold on trust this property until certain time, and the rental income go to who and who and who. Because if you give outright to A, it's A's rental already, and you can say who can stay. No, just like I just mentioned, that's very important. And also, who is going to maintain the house? You know, uh, you can all mention in the will 
and you have to keep power to sell. Because, for example, if you have minor children, the children is only two years old, the trustee who owns trust the property, the trustee can never sell the property until or unless the boy or the beneficiary is 18. So in between, if you need to sell, you can't sell. So you have to write a will and say that, give power to the trustee in case you need to sell, you can sell. So all these are actually can mention in the will. That's why I keep on saying that will cannot be too simple. Look at your situation. In fact, I don't know some of you have heard me in the radio, uh, Melody FM 103 recently. You know the DJ Choi Ling, some of you might know. Uh, she was saying very correct. The will must be as clear as possible, as you know, detailed as possible, so that the executor or the trustee can act. You know, because if he's not able to give instruction, they cannot act. And uh, at the end of the trust period, you can give it to who or sell it or whatever. All this can be done. But if you were to appoint, a, you have a trust in the will, it's best you have a good trustee. Okay, you can actually appoint a trusty company like uh, Rockwell or individual because sometimes individual cannot last so long. Okay, uh, okay. So this is just a summary. If you don't have a will, you apply LA. You have to find two guarantor, and you have to appoint administrator. Okay, all this I have read, I have mentioned, and you cost more. At the same time, it take more longer time. Okay, and uh, you also. Uh, the court will take over your rights to appoint uh, the name beneficiary. Like as I say, no provision for your partner, spouse, Ill legal, illegitimate child, or others. And uh, for young couple, the trustee will be appointed by the court, guardian or by the court. If there is no what they call that will return. All right. So like look at this case. This lady, you know, she also write a will, and this woman, the mom, is a gambler, okay? She will gamble. So in the will, she actually give her 70000 per month for her to maintain in a trust, you know, testamentary trust. But uh, the mother and the sue want to get more. Can the mother get more? Can never, okay? She also formed a trust fund for the uh, brother, uh, the, for the nephew, okay? So will must be quite uh, properly done. It's your hard-earned money, take control of it now, or wait for the government to decide when you are gone, or don't let your family go through hell while you are in heaven. I sometimes don't agree because you could also be in hell also. Right? But most of them you go to hell also. But you will be in the deeper side or you I don't know. So both also suffer in hell. So why are we at least somebody in heaven? Okay. Any questions so far? You want to hear some story? Yeah? Yes. So your earlier uh, slide under legal estate administration process, mm. either the first one with, uh, with will or without will. Uh, yes. From the with will or without will to uh, distribution according to the will. Uh, mm. How long does the process okay. average? Average couple, couple of months. Okay, just now I mentioned to apply ground of probate. Now this is very fast, one and a half month to two months. So that's a wasted period. Lah. So about three months, four months. If your executor today receive the ground of probate, can start to do all the things already. You mean no income along the way? Lah. Ah, yes. There's no income. Two, three months or whatever. As long as... So that's why a lot of customers nowadays tell me, Mr. Chong, what happened if my, my son passed away and my wife don't have any income during the period? Okay, so what happened here to solve this liquidity problem? Uh, some of the insurance people will say you buy an insurance policy. But as far as I'm concerned, don't have to buy insurance policy if you have money. What you need to do, you have to do another document called Declaration of Trust, whereby you assign one or two bank account to this Declaration of Trust. So should something happen, the power attorney is given to Rockwell. Rockwell, as a trust corporation, will take the money and pass to your wife. You see? So this account will not get frozen. Whatever asset fall under the declaration of trust will not be frozen. Okay? That is one way to solve that liquidity problem. In between, yeah. So I did my will when my son was one year old. So now he's 22, he's 10 years. Uh, one year old now, your son is 22. It's high time for you to change him. Uh, better change it. 
We remember must update and review. I had this uncle, okay? He wrote a will in, uh, at the age of 45, okay? 40, 40 years old. And the will say that everything I have give to my son and my wife equal share, full stop. Okay? And I appoint my Tylo, elder brother, to be the trustee. You know what happened now? The elder brother is 78 years old already, having some Ching uh, Kong, Ching Ngan, Ching Kong, what? Huh? Ah, something like that. So the, the, the wife came, the son came, and the daughter sit in front of me. Mr. Chong, my father wrote a will and said, my, my, my Tai Pak, the elder brother, is the trustee. Team fit, okay? Now, question here, he is so old, and what happens if he dies tomorrow? Then we've got complication, you know? I say, yes, but right, your husband should change the will. Then the doctor said, Mr. Uncle, you know what happened? When I, my father write this will, I was not born. This year, I'm 23. <laughs> fat, fat. You know, I say, your father know how to make money, do a simple will, and never do, look at it. But right, should change the executor to your wife or your son already. Because earlier, maybe the spouse still young, la, not cannot comfortable to appoint her. Then you can appoint her, the, 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 the son yourself. See, that's why you need to review on and off. Okay? Yeah. The, the guarantor, if you don't have a will, more than two million, they need a guarantor, two guarantor. This guarantor is to ensure the process is finished. Because, you see, the administrator who is appointed, is not appointed by the disease. The court worry that this person will run away with the money. So, as long as everything is distributed, then the guarantor ends. And nobody wanted to be a guarantor. Or not. Yeah? Oh, if you know how to write a will, actually your will don't cover your current asset. It's also current future asset. You know, you, your will cannot be very specific. Like for me, what we do is, uh, even you have two houses, house on number one, house number two, I will add in a paragraph, any future purchase, it will cover. Your bank account, I will never use it, Malay banking chart, uh, account number. I will say all banks in Malaysia and overseas. Remember, many years ago, Yon Bank was taken over by Hong Leong. Remember? Every day I have customer call me, Mr. Chong, my will return there, it says that my account in Yon Bank gave to my three sons in share. Should I change or not? You know how I answer? Because so many call, I so so irritated. <laughs> Sorry. So I say, Auntie, when are you going to die? Che, how can you ask? Are you going to die this year? Or next year? Hey, how come you ask me like that so blunt? Huh? I won't die this year, next year, no. I say, no, the reason is, when I say you die this year or next year, it's because if you die this year or next year, guaranteed to die, huh? no need to change will. Because, <laughs> because the merger is still new, correct? Huh? Huh? I can trace your money, ma. correct? Huh? Your bank come to which branch, you know? Okay? Then if you die 10 years down the line, I also cannot guarantee because the money go to Hong Leong Bank, Hong Leong Bank change digit, change branch, and that. And also worse still, maybe Hong Leong Bank, by the time you die 10 years down the line, it's no more Hong Leong Bank, it's called Chong Muk Yong Bank already. <laughs> also double Bakai. Become my bank, I take over already. Huh? So you cannot put the bank. You can put all banks in Malaysia to be flexible. So you do not need to keep on changing your bank. All right? Uh, How much to go? So fast, ah? <laughs> Straight to the point. Okay. <laughs> I thought this education is so fast money. Okay, writing a will achieve is very, very reasonable price. Uh, Rock will, as far as concerned, we charge by the number of paragraphs in the will. So for normal standard will, it's about a couple of hundred dollars. Not much on. Unless your will has this testamentary trust is not I mentioned, uh, who on trust, all this, blah, 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 then it will be maybe one, two, three thousand dollars. Okay. Okay. Any other question? Yeah? Grant of probate, uh, mm. for the total properties above two million or? No. Grant of probate will be applied if you are, your asset is more than two million, go to high court. If less than two million, no need grant of probate. Two million, if you are less than two million, if you go to land office, you can do that. 
If you have no view, la, no view. Is it total asset or what? Total. Ah. Uh, so just like you said, the no tax transfer, hmm? something very interesting. What? No, no tax for transport title. Ah. How can I? No, when you pass away to transfer from a dead person to a live person, there's just ten dollars stamp duty. But if I don't have a huh? if, if I don't have rule also through the uh, distribution act, uh, also same thing. From a dead person to a live person, there's no tax, no inheritance tax, no stamp duty in Malaysia. But overseas, you will be something like 30 40 percent. Uh. Uh, that's why many customers, I have a lot of second home program. Those uncle, uh, they come here, they do a lot of foreigners' will. Remember, foreigner also must write a will, uh, even a foreigner. The, the uncle always say, uh, Malaysia is a good place. Uh, because here, if I buy a property, I can give it straight away to my son. No need to pay 30, 40% tax. Whereas in overseas, you pay it much more. Yeah. Yeah, he is talking about cross country will, cross border will. Oh. Okay, as far as uh, we have property overseas, remember, if the most important word is called domicile. Domicile. Means that if you are a Malaysian domicile, your Malaysian will can cover all your movable asset in Malaysia. Okay? Movable, immovable, it means movable means cash bank stock, immovable your property, your condo, as well as movable asset overseas, particularly Commonwealth country. Okay? But however, if you have a property in Australia, advisable for you to write a separate view in Australia for the property. The simple reason is because the tax regime, everything is different from Malaysia. So it's best you write a separate view in other country where you have immovable property. Okay? But but before you write a will there, better be careful. Ask the attorney or the lawyer there, don't just put the word I revoke earlier will. Because if you write a Malaysian will here and you go there and write say that I revoke earlier will, that means Malaysia will be cancelled. So you have to be very careful to have a statement saying that this will only meant for my Australian asset only. It will not invalidate or revoke my will written outside Australia. Uh, which country? Australia, we can. Okay, we can. Singapore, we can. Yeah. The latest preview. Yes. Oh, you can come to me, but change, you have to pay again, huh? <laughs> you can change many times, but you have to pay, uh, just like you eat one bowl of rice, and tomorrow, you uh, have to pay, uh. I, I can do for you, I can do for you. No, you can change, you can change, but I have to pay. <laughs> the, the, the word there behind didn't care, that you didn't catch up the word. <laughs> Uh, okay, in, that's why in the room, this, this audience is asking that uh, why uh, uh, husband appoint wife, why appoint husband, okay? Uh, in the room, you must have substitute. If what happens if the husband not around, who is a substitute take over? Why not a wife not around? You must have substitute. Oh, the 30 days one is a commodities, provided you put in the paragraph commodities. Right, but 30 days, then whatever that you have will not follow the disease estate. You will hold back, give to the next person in line. Yes. I only have five minutes. Okay. If you take too long, kick him out. 
next to a nine, go to the court, the beneficiary all group together and take him out. Cannot be. That means the will is not properly drafted. Uh, if it's, uh, if it's the will, that's why the will has to be as clear as possible. That means that's why the will got problem. You have to let the court to interpret. Can in the will already say a point A if A doesn't want to do or unable give to B. Or beneficiary also will substitute if A the refill or die give to the next person. Can mm. yeah. Ah. Ah. Uh, if your will just mention your property, didn't mention any other thing, depend on how you work, is there a paragraph called the rest of my estate? Then this will is called partial and testacy. Not 100% valid. Meaning to say the property will follow the will, the other thing will follow no will. So you're going to waste a lot of money. You're going to apply GB and A. So call me right again. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Our insurance combination. Ah. EBF combination. But override my Yes. Yeah. EBF, EBF, insurance will all right whatever written in the will. Must mean the but will is meant for failure nomination. Okay. You want to hear one story before I go? Okay. This uncle has uh, it cannot five minutes, huh? Ah, this uncle is an interesting story that tell you a uh, will is not just to distribute asset. This uncle of 82 years old came to uh, refuse to write a will. He's 82, he has four sons, and he has four properties. Okay? And uh, the property is 2468. Okay? So he refused to write a will because everybody said, hey, yeah, your will, what is that? Simple, only you should take one, count him already. Four lines, count him already. But this uncle refused to write a will. Until one day, that customer, his good friend, said, Go and see Mr. Chong. So he came to me and sit in front of me. Then I said, Uncle, what you have? Basically nothing much, 82 years old, waiting to die anyway, waiting for the God to call me, nothing much to do. I have these four sons, I got four shop lots. I said, on the face value, it looks simple, just give to each one of them, because they, they are adult already, correct now? No need to hold on trust or whatever. Man. Then he said, hey, you also say the same thing? I thought you are special, you are different, you are estate planner. I say, I'm an estate planner, but whether you tell me what's in your heart, you have to tell me. Then he start to tell me. He said, actually, to be referring to you, I have buy this four property at 700,000, now it's almost two million. This is my best investment. I have four sons, I'm blessed. These four sons are developers, they are very rich. They think they are much, much richer than me. Oh. So I said, if that is the case, then don't give to your son. Give it to your grandson, you know, at least. The, then you know, Mr. Chong, everybody asked me to give to the four son. Frankly, tell you, I, the second son is a Dato Sri. The third son is a Dato. Do you know they're very glamour? But actually, in my heart, I know anytime this guy will get bankrupt. Huh? <laughs> That's why I never want to write a will and give him to pay his debts. So I say, in that case, you give it to your grandson. Huh? Next generation. Oh, I see. Any other thing? Oh, I like to do charity. Charity. But nowadays I cannot because I cannot walk. Everybody don't want to bring me out. I walk so slow, you know. So okay. Okay, if that is the case, just make it simple. Okay, Uncle, this is how your will is going to be. So how my will is going to be. When you pass on, the four shop lot will be hold on trust by Rock Will Trustee as a trustee for twenty years. Wow, why so long? I say if a too short a period, your son Blumati. 20 years already, guarantee all Mati already. <laughs> then pass to your grandchildren. Ah. You are at least third generation. Ah. Say, ah. You to the son, after the son going to pay that. Ah. Don't. Secondly, I say in the will, you say just now you like to do charity. You tell me who are the charity you want. He name a few. Every month you use your rental income and pay charity. That means to say you are dead and gone, you are, your, your money is still working for you. Okay? Oh, that's good. 
There's something that I'm looking for. Second thing I say, in, this is my, Mr. Chong's opinion. I will put in a statement say that any of my grandchildren who get married, please come to Akong Trust account to get 30,000 ang pao. For the next 20 years, you will be remembered. Correct now? Oh, you're getting married lah. Got money or no money? Akong may got 30,000 lah. Uh, subsidy. So for the next 20 years, you will be remembered. Well, oh, he get excited. I say, the other thing what I would suggest to do for education, say put a statement there. Any of my grandchildren who pass a, a master or whatever, or APC, whatever, give them some money lah. Anyway, you have money. Reward, that's good. You will be remembered. I said, finally, Ang Pao. Well, Ang Pao also can go to real. I said, can. <laughs> put in the real, say that any of my grandchildren, uh, Chinese New Year, Please send a representative to Rockville and tell Rockville how many ang pao is need. Rockville will pack 30 ang pao, 25 ang pao, put in $500, and your representative will distribute ang pao on the first day of Chinese New Year. I don't give one. <laughs> so meaningful. You know, I say I can imagine there will be a situation where your distributor, your, your representative gives the ang pao. The small little boy say, Who give one? Akum. Who is Akum? I never heard of Akum. Oh, Akum. Hey, the one uh, on, the, on, the, on the picture there. Oh, thank you, Akum. <laughs> you know what happened? He still rolled out immediately, you know. He was so emotional. Then I say, yeah, that's why since you have money, do something extra. Just don't distribute as that. Okay? Because we can do a lot of things, but you must get the right professional to do it. Come to Rockville. Rockville is able to assist you. <laughs> okay? Anyway, thank you very much.